Hi, I'm Marco Maddock, creator of the Junk Age AR experience with Adobe Aero. Using the Aero app, I'm going to show you how to build interactive sequences for AR storytelling. Using the Behavior Builder, you can control and trigger a number of actions and behaviors for your objects and characters. This can control certain attributes of your objects, like their size, rotation, motion, what animations they play, and how users can interact with them. In this example, I'm going to turn a 3D object into an interactive button that will then be used to trigger a set of actions on other objects in the scene, like causing them to reveal themselves. I've imported a series of pre-made assets via my Creative Cloud folder that I'll be using in this scene, but if you're just starting off you can use a range of objects readily available in the Starter Assets panel. First, I'm going to select the object I want to turn into a button. Next, I'm going to select the Behavior Builder icon, which will reveal this panel here. As this object will be our button, we want to set this trigger to Tap. When tapped, we want this object to trigger actions that will affect the other objects around it. We're going to make some of the other objects appear. Select the Actions tab, then select Show. Then select the object you want to be affected in Subject, and we'll set the duration to about 1 second. We can add the same action to the other objects by tapping the plus button and repeating the same step. Alternatively, we can stagger the actions so that each object is revealed one after the other by adding actions sequentially, like so. Make sure to hide the objects that will be revealed so that they don't appear at the start. Now tap preview to test this out. There you go, the button will trigger other objects in the scene to reveal themselves. For intermediate users who are familiar with 3D applications such as Cinema 4D, Blender or Maya, you can import 3D assets with their own animation data. If the object has its own animation data, you can also activate the animation by selecting the play animation action, selecting the subject object, the animation set, and then the animation clip you want it to play. To add a bit of depth, we can also add a sound effect action, which will play at the same time. Adding multiple layers of movement on top of animation and sound effects can really add weight and depth to your scenes. Try spending some time experimenting with the behavior builder to see what kind of interactive sequences you can come up with. For some inspiration, try out the Junk Age AR experience by scanning the QR code here. Thanks.